Merry Christmas. We're here at Meyer. Uh, Meyer's our corporate sponsor for the uh, Crime Stopper Food Basket Program. We're going to get uh, 16 baskets and fill them up with food and get them out to uh, families that are having economic uh, hardships here in the community. So this, these are board members, Kathy Woodruff, Claire's, Kirk, Kathy Brinson, Cheryl Williams. And they've been board members for uh, ever. ever. Yeah. So, and they're also pilot club members. You're all pilot, aren't you? Yeah. So we appreciate the pilot club. We appreciate them. And we're going to take off and get some shopping done. Ladies, 16. Yeah. So this is fun. It's my favorite food. I can live on hand. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Meyer again. I don't know if I'm going to get with Craig or not, but uh, the manager here is Craig. And uh, he's a real good guy. He's, he's always helped us out. And, uh, he makes this event possible, really. So, him and Meyer. So, we love him. Oops. See what I'm saying? So if you take two of these, see how it fits? There's there's one of those. Craig Hunter. Hey, how are you? I've been talking about you, but you weren't there. Yeah. He's a man with a plan. Those turkeys back, so I'm up for
I was gonna get the a bunch of busy bees. We're all putting this together. We've even been this as well. <laughs> and she's one of the recipients, so she's helping us get all this stuff put together so we can get everybody in and do my hips. And uh, they don't have to wait around very long. What you got? What do you got? A thousand? Spicy This is one of the recipients for the five uh, summer food baskets. And I will tell you one thing. They, they had uh, five pound bags of potatoes on sale for 20 cents less. Uh, yeah, less than the 10 pound bags. So we bought the big ones. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, that makes sense, though. You got your dad's math mind. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a good holiday. I'll see you at the store, Bob. Yes. Here, come here. Oh, sorry. All right. The, uh, this young lady's got a full basket and uh, there's ham and 10 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> we did an overkill on potatoes because they were cheap. And uh, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Maple oranges, you name it. So, and your family have a good Thanksgiving. All right. See you later. This young lady works at Walmart South. She's one of our favorite people. Um, I had her in school when she was, what, 12, 10, yeah, 11, 12? So, I'm old, be you old. <laughs> and we've known each other the whole time. She's a real good lady. Um, she's a hard worker. Um, she works a second job. And I mean, she's just outstanding as far as I'm concerned. So, Amy, congratulations. Have a good Thank holiday. You. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow when we shop again. All right, I'll be there. <laughs> we have a program about all our, we have three different programs. So this is one, and we'll take a three hundred kids shopping and two different programs. Busy but it's great that we can help people and get the Christmas spirit out there. So yes, enjoy so all the much. food and the 10 pounds of potatoes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. What's your name? All right, enjoy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, Mary, it's been a lot of time. We've been together with a lot of things. And uh, her daughter's been in Shop with the Cop. And She's now having to make it herself. Years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a food basket program by Crime Stoppers, and we appreciate you coming out for the basket. That's great. We appreciate have a good it. Holiday. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Do. And thank everybody for this. We will. We're here at the uh, Cops and Kids program, which we hold at uh, it's Walmart South here in Muncie. Um, and all, not only us, uh, Cowan Volunteer Fire Department is also here with 10 kids. So all together we have 60 kids we're all shopping with and everybody's having a good time. And, uh, I think we have plenty of cops, I, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week at the Target store. Ha <laughs> ha
again with Muncie Crime Stoppers. We're here at Walmart South. We're doing our annual Cops and Kids shopping event. And we've been doing this now for three years. And with the most help we've ever gotten from Jeff Dayton and Walmart South. And we couldn't do it without him. And what we've done is we've had 50 children that we've shopped with, along with other public safety officers, myself, Muncie Police Department, Muncie Fire Department, um, and several other, other departments in the, in the county. Um, we've had a great time today. Jeff Dates provided Santa Claus. We flew in from the North Pole early so he could be here with the kids and take some pictures. So we had a great time today, and we hope to do this again next weekend at Target for our annual event at Target. So thanks again. I hope you enjoy. Is there I kept bike. <laughs> Cops and Kids event. This is Jeff Dayton, the store manager. How you doing? And, and if it wasn't for Jeff, I, we probably wouldn't be here because he's the one that's really pushed this program through. And uh, him and Mike Mueller. Mike's done a ton. Jeff's done a ton. The decorating sets out here were all Jeff and his yeah. crews. Yeah, the crew set it up last night. Uh, we're doing everything we can. Like I think first year we did like 20 kids, and we're up to 50 this year. Uh, we keep getting more and more. Uh, keep reaching out and doing everything we can. And, get the kids snacks, you know, stuff. So we're trying to make it a good event for them, pictures with Santa, so it's a pretty good event. And I want to explain, it's not just the, the 50 we take. Also with us today is the Cowan Fire Department. They've got 10 kids. Yep. And Jeff was just telling me last night that one of the organizations came in and did $12,000 worth of kids. Yeah, just yesterday. So roughly in two days, we've done 210 kids. Yeah, so so it's a it's a major thing he does. And, and the community appreciates it, and we definitely appreciate it. Yep. Well, I appreciate everybody coming. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you, Bubba. Good morning, this is Mike Mueller from Muncie Crime Stoppers. We're here at the Target store in Muncie, Indiana, where we're starting our annual Heroes and Helpers shopping spree. We have 250 children that we're gonna shop for today. And we're gonna start out, we got a great crowd here. You'll see them walking through the stores with the kids later. 
Uh, we've got about 60 or 70 police officers, firemen, uh, junior ROTC students from Muncie Central High School, um, some people on the city council and others here to help today, to help make this event just a wonderful thing for the kids. Um, we've done this now for several years, several decades, and it's a great thing. This, this year's crowd is one of the larger ones we've ever had. Um, thanks to donations, especially from Target. Target's donated several thousand dollars in grants this year, among other sponsors, which we will talk about later. Um, so once again, uh, thanks for joining us today, and I hope you enjoy watching us shop today. Get started, we're going to have the, the kids right over here at the desk. We're going to have gift cards for each family. We're going to pick one or two to go shop with them. There's there are, um, you waking up now? There are calculators down here, pens and right. paper if you need that to calculate the amounts you're All shopping right. with. For example, each, each kid will have $100 to shop with, tax-free. So keep track of that, because if they get over that amount, somebody else is going to be responsible to pay for that amount that's over $100, either the family or you guys. So make sure you keep it under $100. If you have five kids in a family, all you have to do is worry about going over $500. Don't worry about $100 for each kid. It's $500 total. Okay, when you go through the store. When you check out, you're going to check out in 11, 12, 13, or 14. They'll be all marked off at the front in those lanes. So make sure you go to one of those lanes and it will be tax free. The kids cannot buy gift cards with the gift cards. That's the policy, the target policy. So if the kids want to buy Xbox gift cards, they can't do that. So that's going to be a big bummer for a lot of kids this year. So make sure you remember that. They can buy toys, they can buy clothes. Um, anything What's your name, buddy? Gage, I'm Larry. All right. Merry Christmas. All right, I guess that's, we're going to take one card for all four. Uh, These two and this one. Okay, perfect. Hey. Yeah, they told me I didn't have to bring the baby if I didn't want to. I thought he really wanted to get a question. All right, get up. Right there. I love Make sure to put me on TV and the newspaper. I really yeah, want to. Right. I want to be famous. You'll be famous. I'll make you famous. Please do. No, there's all about the toys. Yeah. Wonderful. Great time. You got more kids than what we've ever had and we've got more help than what we've ever had. This is fantastic. Now we're going with? Okay. Oh, she's toilet paper wide. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I have toilet paper. That's oh, wow. good because mom wouldn't get mad at you there because you're not going to break them in the house. It's going to break them on Oh, that's okay. Toilet paper sheet. Yep. How's the shopping going? Going great, man. We're lucky we got Melissa here. We got Lexi. Lexi's already gotten some shoes and some paint products and stuff. We got Jesse helping them out. And Jim himself is an artist and helped her pick the paint out. So it's going great. You having fun, Lexi? Yeah. Now we got to find Dakota and Nerf Gun. Yes. Gavin's got a cool hat on. Tell us about that hat. Uh, this hat was given to me by another reserve officer and said that this was made for me. And so I was like, well, if it's made for me, then I'm just going to put it on. <laughs> How's the shopping going so far, Sheriff? Doing well. We're just getting started. <laughs> That's 29. We just started. She loves Frozen. Oh, yeah? Here's all your Frozen stuff. Look at my fine old hair. Mama. Nope, nope. You done already? Oh, yeah. Almost. I still got my young You know they don't make these. these oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. You guys done already? 
Just yes, started. She did what she wanted. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? No. Thank you. How are you? He got the last game. He's so happy. Oh. In fact, they had stuff on sale, so it gave us enough money to get him one more game, which is the one thing he wanted. His mom made him get clothes, which is what he needed, but he's got everything he wants. So. Now he's got it. He's what got game, it. What game did you get? Oh, Mortal Kombat. Yep. Good choice. <laughs> he's in good shape, so you guys have a great day, and we are. All right. You gonna carry this boys? How did it go? Good. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> you went over? Yeah, about $5.15. You'll cover that. I've got it. <laughs> there you go. Good for you, Bruce. There's been a lot of that today. I've done it almost every year. Didn't that hurt? Put your face on that. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> See you guys. I gotta go shop with someone else now. Have fun. Have fun. We'll see you guys. Yeah. All right. How'd the shopping go for you guys? Oh, we had a great time. Caden's here. He picked out some Nerf guns. He's ready to go. Some Pokemon. He's ready to go. Thank you. <laughs> he was a great shopper. A lot of fun. Yeah. I like his choice. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have some fun. He's got some brothers and sisters at home, too. Oh, yeah. Well, they're going to get nerfed. Ah, uh, yeah. you got more patience than I do. What all did you guys get? Show what you got. Asking what you got? I got a Georgia and a two backpack and that. Sweatshirt, some boots, and some boots. A little bit of everything. Get it? Oh, all right. Mom, where's the key for the I don't know. Wait, Mom, that's probably going to be the thing that he wants. The first one. Oh, there's Spot the Wonder Dog. High fives? Yeah. High fives. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? What'd you get? Oh, all right. And a player. Games. That'll work. Tell me about your shopping so far. Well, Jeff, I'm getting Christmas for my three grandbabies and got put on the shop of the hero. This guy's been pretty sharp. He's been really helpful, especially with the situation with the baby. Because obviously she doesn't need a lot of toys. Not yet. The boys are thrilled. They've got new shoes, they've got a new outfit, they got some toys. And we're about done and ready to go check out and go home. Good for you. And I've been up all night, so it's going to be a long day today because I still got to go to Lahoti's and clean tonight. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. Elizabeth, what do you tell Roger? Turn around, Tally. Merry Christmas. Laura. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Jace. Tell about your shopping here. Well, we, uh, we we tore it up. We got a bunch of good stuff here. We got some uh, LOL dolls and things like that. And we are happily heading to the register now. <laughs> you guys got there the toys? Um, um, did you have fun? I had fun a lot. What'd you get? What'd you get? And I got, um, she got, I got a couple outfits. She got her short. Show them your thing. All right. Yes. Show them your toy here. Then we got some Game Boy for my son. Alright. And I have this. We had an awesome time. Great, great. Good for you. Looks like you're gonna have a good Christmas. Yes, we are. We had a great time shopping, didn't we? We have some Paw Patrol, Monopoly, Minecraft Legos, Big Wheels. What's your favorite? 
What's Monopoly. your favorite guy? My favorite toy is yours. Paw Patrol. And you have Paw Patrol boots to match, don't you? We're going to be matching. Hide <laughs> yeah, the unmentionables. <laughs> <laughs> Got unmentionables for Christmas? Uh, All right. That's what happens with a teenage girl, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> but you know, there's more clothes there than toys, so uh -huh. you, can, you can tell. She got, she got a little bit of accessories. And, All right. So, well, good for you. So how'd it go? Did you get what you wanted? Yeah? Great, great. Yeah. Well, have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi. Hi. No? Did you get everything you wanted? Yeah. Good. It's like good. a girl didn't take her long to blow $100. <laughs> It don't take long, does it? No. Right, as long as she's happy and she's got what she wanted. Well, good. good. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, too. He knows every single Looks one. Looks like uh, you got quite a bit of stuff there. Get everything you want. Did this young man get everything you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Looks like electronics there and a game. All right. What did he get? Oh. See, that's my that's my type of toy right there. He's got cars. That's my yeah. type of toy. You get a bunch of Hot Wheels. Their uh. favorite toys aside from Paw Patrol. I can't do Legos. Right. I can't do anything like that. But I can play with cars. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Chris Deegan, I'm the president of the FOP. Uh, as you can see, we're here at Target for the annual Heroes and Helpers event. Um, this year, because of all the hard work that uh, Chuck Hensley's put into this program through Crime Stoppers, we were able to get 250 kids through Target this year, and we had 50 last weekend at Walmart South, so this program just keeps growing, and we're so happy to have everybody here, all the first responders that came out to help, and all the families that were able to help during the holidays, and this program is great, and it just keeps growing, and we love it, so thanks a lot. <laughs> That's what you got. That's good. That's good. I got Roger. Christmas. And Laura. Let's do this one more time. <laughs> and Aiden's already smiling. This is our uh, 2019 edition of Heroes and Helpers. Mike has been handling the front end of this deal, and that's been real fun, wasn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of kids going on. And I went through the line and checked people in, so we ended up with 300, I think we ended up with 307. It wasn't really. It was a bunch. And uh, anyway, we wanted to get here and thank our sponsors, um, even this guy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, everybody's help that's, that's helped us over the years is on here, and it may not be just necessarily for this event, but for also the back to school shop and uh, or back to school here is helping. But um, most importantly, there's a new one that signed on this year with us, friends of, friends of the Endurathon. And uh, anything else you want to point out specifically? Yes, we get a lot of support every year from the Community Foundation. And Target, I can never say enough about Target. Target donates their store, their employees, and they donate several thousand dollars in gift cards to us for this event, which we couldn't do it without their support, obviously. So we really want to put out a big shout out to Target and Dave Garrett and all their other employees that help out with this program. And then also Target, we had a, a regional grant. We had a, a normal grant this year, and then we had a regional grant on top of it where uh, each region got to select their most successful programs and Muncie's program was one of the most successful so we got a $10,000 bump which made it possible to take 307 kids. So uh, all on here is uh, Fraternal Order of the Eagles are always with us, Gaddis, uh, Magna, uh, they, they, are, they came through really well, Praxis came through, they told me one number and gave me more. <laughs> I like those guys. And, uh, and Knights of Columbus. Knights of Columbus. They help out every time we have a shop with a cop, or heroes and helpers, or cops and kids. Beckham Foundation, they really help us at uh, back to school time. A big way. So, also a shout out, other than our sponsors we have on the board today, um, we have several board members that are here today that help out, and we couldn't do it without their help too. And I don't know if I could mention all of them, but we have several of them that are here today. Right. I think six of them. Right. And without their help either, we couldn't put this on the way we do. And I'd like to thank the schools, Muncie Community Schools. That's how we got our kids. Yep. The they picked the kids out for us this year, and it worked out great. Um, they're the ones that really know a lot of these children, 
and they are able to help us pick which ones really need some help this year, and they did a great job of that. We'd also like the, the Pride team of Delaware County came this year and provided some um, helpers to help us shop with the families this year. We had how many of them? About 10, 15? I thought it was 16, but I'm not okay. sure. We had a, a lot of them showed up, and, and I can never say enough about the Marine Corps Junior ROTC program at Muncie Central High School. They always bring a, a large group of kids to help out. This year we had about 15 or 20 of them that come out, on, the, and they're taking a day off at, from home, too, to come and do this. And, and their director, Top Harbor. Yes. Harbor. Yeah, he's, it's great that they come out and help us do this as well. Now, I mean, in addition to that, some of our referrals came from Samuel Police Department, uh, juvenile probation, different foster children groups. Um, man, we got a ton of outside referrals. And then, of course, we want to thank Chris Dingen. He helped us with 50 of them mm -hmm. on his own. And these were referrals from MPD officers right. on the street that see uh, who, who they, really They see help. people out when they're working on the road, and they um, get back with us, say, hey, can you add this family? Because we just had a call with them, and they're really not doing too well this year. We had a lot of those referrals. Um, so that's another group we didn't thank. The Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 87 here in, in Muncie. Um, they helped out. Um, they brought a big cadre of officers out here today. And we had what Delaware County Sheriff's Office. Um, Fire Department. Fire Departments came out, EMS. Uh, IU Health Police. Uh, uh, great time. We had an officer here from Indianapolis uh, Metropolitan Police Department came up here to help out State today. State Police. Yeah. And State Police, we had two troopers that were here today as well. Um, it's, a, it's a great event, and I think people hear about it and, and how well we do with the community. And they bring people up, and they want to be a part of this program, and we thank them as well. True. And I'm just glad we had a great year, and we'll be ready next year. Yep. The next thing we have coming up is we have our uh, annual Back to School Heroes and Help Helpers event, which will be here at Target as well. This will be sometime in July before school starts right. for the Muncie Community Schools. So we look forward to seeing you then. And I really want to thank Mike Mueller before we do anything else. Because Mike's had oh. some uh, serious health issues, and he's fought through it all, and he's done a marvelous job of getting this together. Thank you, Chuck. And, uh, You're welcome. I, once again, I can never say enough about Chuck. Chuck's been doing this. He started this program up over, what, 30 years ago? 30 years ago, almost. And uh, he's got the, the knowledge and expertise to get those grants and get the money that we need that we couldn't do this without as well. So thank you, Chuck. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. I don't want to shake too hard. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.